Hi, it's Mike Thornton here from Predsables Expert, and today I'm going to show you a very interesting plugin from Matthew Lane called Dr. MS, and it uses MS technology, but not just handling the mid and the side, but adds two additional parameters, the focus and the field. And we'll take a bit more of a look at those in just a moment. Because at first glance, there are an awful lot of controls in this plugin. As you can see, it's taking up quite a bit of my screen real estate at the moment, but it is effectively divided into these four sections. So what's happening is the plugin is using MS technology. So in this case, it's taking in the left, right, it will be encoding it into MS and then routing that MS signal into the different sections. So obviously here we've got the mid. So if I just play a bit of audio here and then just turn the mid down, all we're left with is the side information. And what I've got running here is the isotope insight uh, sound field section. So just using the sound field so we can see what's happening visually to the stereo image as we work with this particular plugin. So let's just bring the mid back up again and you can see that everything just stabilizes again. So we've got the mid section then we've got the side section. So again, we can increase the amount of side signal, which will have the effect of making things a lot, a lot wider. So bring the side down right to minimum and we get mono. So we get this classic single line because there is no width information at all, no side. And then as I open that out, you can both hear and see how the image opens out. So that's the side. Now, what about these two here, the focus and the field? Because the focus and the field are not normally terms we associate with MS processing. Mid and side, absolutely. So we've got mid, the mono content, and then the side, the, the information that is different between the left and right. So we can process and EQ the side information separately. So we're only processing content that is in the stereo field or we could process separately the mono information, the center. So often in a conventional uh, music track, that will be things like the uh, kick drum, the bass guitar, anything that's pan center, obviously the vocal, that can be processed differently to the stereo information, the elements in the audio signal that have stereo width. So here we have two more parameters, the focus and the field. And basically what's happening is that the focus takes the original mid information and feeds it into the side signal of the final stereo output. What that actually means is as we increase the focus control, it's going to be effectively zooming in. Hence, uh, Matthew has called this control zoom. So let's play a different section of audio and we'll enable the zoom and then I'll play it and as I increase the focus, the zoom, you get the sense the flute is much, you're much more close to, this, to the flute than if I take it all the way out. So it is just like the zoom control if you were using a camera. So that's the focus, it's taking mid information and feeding into the side channel and hence giving you more focus zooming in. Whereas the field section, that takes some of the unprocessed side information and feeds it across into the mid channel. And the effect of doing this is to increase the sense of depth in your audio. So let's play that same section again. We'll put the depth uh, switch on. You can see it's, it's lifted up the reverb. Take it out again. So it will give your mixes a real sense of depth. So if you're feeling a bit flat and one dimensional, then this can be a really useful option to take a look at. And then with each of these sections, there is a high pass filter section, a low pass filter section, 
and a delay. And so we have those options on each of these four sections. So there's lots of potential for making small adjustments to all sorts of different parameters. So rather than just randomly starting to adjust of these different controls and see what happens, what we suggest you do is to take a look at a number of the presets and start to look at what settings have created the particular sound we get from each of the presets. So let's take a look at another part of the audio track. So we have the strings. So let's take a look at what this high string stretch does. So you can see there's a little bit of zoom. So we're sending some of the mid information back across to the side channel and equally the field has just been brought down a little bit. So if we just use the bypass, it's very, very subtle. There's just been a little bit of EQ taking place. So we'll have a look at another one of the more gentle presets, Gentle Mix Widen. So there we are, no processing. And there it comes. Again, it's nice and subtle. So here's one of the slightly more severe uh, presets called Solar Space. You can see that the uh, depth has been increased a little bit, quite a lot of increase in the side channel. And we've also got some EQ in the mid channel. So if I just bypass that for a moment, you can see how the signal narrows down. So just put that back in again. And wow, lots more width that you can both hear and see. And here's another one, wide and airy. So again, increase, quite, increase the width quite a bit bypass that now this one uh, is about taking out the mono so that basically the attempt to get rid of the lead vocal so in this case it will be the solo flute so if I bypass that so we've got the flute there in the middle but there the flutes pretty well gone it's just disappeared back into the reverb that this one is very much intended for stereo playback only. But they've also got a, an equivalent for mono playback. So you can see there, we've got mono, but pretty well got no flute. Very, very interesting presets. And another set of presets that's quite interesting is, for instance, this Orcs Bus Small Room. Because it really makes you feel as though you're in a small room. But of course, there's no reverb. This is not putting it into a convolution reverb. This is combinations of focus and field and also some EQ in the various channels. And then there's another one of a similar sort of Orcs Bus Reflective Room. So here is bypassed, and there we go again. And in fact, if we take it back to the uh, one of the big strings passage, it really shows it up. So there we are, flat, and then we go into the reflective room. 
So if we go back to the small room, and then back to the initial flat one. So there we are, that's the flat one. And then if we go to reflective, So you can see there's very, very interesting sets of presets. And so what I really recommend is you take a look at exactly what all these presets are doing before you start having a go at adjusting these controls because it would be quite easy to uh, end up chasing your tail where you're making adjustments on one which counteract the adjustments on the other. So all in all, this is a very, very interesting plugin. Again, I think it fits into the category of there's nothing else out there like it. And so hats off to you, Matthew, for developing this plugin because with conventional mid and side technology, you've taken it on another stage and come up with a plugin that really enables you to manipulate the sound. Now, obviously, I've just been working with it on a mixed stereo track, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't put this into stems or even just process individual tracks in your mix. So there we have it, the uh, Dr. MS Spatial Processor. See you again soon.